welcome to Sad Boys. This is this is the sad cast. We're really, we're really all, sad. It's gray and rainy, and we're down <laughs> with the frown. Welcome to sad news. It's it's a bad day. This morning, a puppy died, and then it also cried while it died. <laughs> It was really pretty, pretty not great. Did you know that seahorse men have babies, not the women? Isn't that know, sad? Did you also know that the moon is not made of cheese, but moon rocks? I fucking wanna die. That, that thought makes me want to die. That the moon is not made of chasty cheese, but instead sad, cold moon rocks. Welcome to the Human <laughs> Pasta Pod, the Human Pasta Podcast. That's, that's such a weird opening. <laughs> I'm Derek Mola. I'm Quentin Bell. Was, <laughs> we didn't really know. I was wondering how long we were going to do that. <laughs> uh, welcome back. Welcome back to another dang, was, old, dang old episode. That was really funny. Uh, yeah, that was really good. Uh, today's is kind of a stupid day. Quentin, you're feeling sick. I'm not feeling well. And, uh, <laughs> not feeling well. Tommy feels funny. And, uh, yeah, and I'm just really exhausted. Derek's tired. Yeah. T- Derek's sleepy and I'm also sleepy. We are it's, the sleepy slows. We're the sleepy sloths. We're the sleepy Stevens. We're here to sleepy to, to Stevens. Sleep around. <laughs> I'm Steven. This is also Steven. I have a big, I have big droopy eyeballs and a big funny hat and, I, and a blanket's wrapped around me. I have bags under my eyes. Really, really heavy bags. Real heavy bags. And a, and a cup of chamomile tea that says, I hate every day. It says daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Cup that says daddy. <laughs> it just says number one, nothing else. Number one. <laughs> number one line. Um, What's going on? <laughs> no, nothing. Get me out of here. <laughs> this uh, cloth is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about. Uh, uh, I can talk about... What I what I've been doing all day. Yeah, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? My fucking sewing machine broke. Yeah, and I have to do all these alterations for the show, and and my sewing machine was broken. So the other day I made a sword. Ah, oh, I meant to show you that I made a sword out of wood. And Ooh, it, I see. It, it looks cool. I think it looks cool. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, dude, I went to this recycle center place yesterday, and I dropped because they'll repair your sewing machines and stuff. And two of them I needed oiled and fixed anyway one of them is like broken and i was like maybe they can just like keep it and recycle it whatever it's it's worthless okay (laughs) um but i needed a needle for the one i'm using right now and i went in there and i told the lady that was working there what i she's like what do you do what do you like do you oh my god she's like are you into are you in like the fashion thing and i was like no i'm actually a costume designer and then she like exploded and was like oh i was that (laughs) and i was like (laughs) oh yeah and i was like i'm sorry what and then uh, she told me all this stuff and gave me a bunch of things and was like, anytime you need anything, come back here and hear all these websites and resources that other designers used and that I used and it's all. Co-. And I was also, like, oh, can you get me a job? <laughs> no, she's retired. No, 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 oh. she's retired. No, no. Yeah, that's 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 what she meant. It's like, that's what I did. She's like, oh, I used to be a costume designer. I was like, oh, she told me these people she's worked with. That's so like, cool, though. Yeah, it was very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I was like, I wonder if she just called herself a costume designer and was really good at stitching <laughs> and stuff and worked in the area. Because the stuff she told me about wasn't design work. It was more so like crafting work, like repairing things for this one dance school and stuff. But uh, I don't know. That's presumptuous of me. But anyway, yeah, it was really nice of her. And I was like, wow, this is all super. Yeah, it was super cool and it was super useful. And I was like, sweet. I'm going to I'm going to let you know when I need things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use you she, up. She's like red. Dry can, you up. I can get you. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was making a like a Shawshank. Dry up your me. well. Yeah. You know what, Derek? I'm too sick for this bullshit. <laughs> get the get, fuck out of my house. Get off of this fucking futon. <laughs> We're sitting on a futon. We are sitting on a futon. It's pretty classy, I'd say. Yeah. What was the other thing you wanted to tell me? <laughs> Trying to cross my eyes. <laughs> uh, I made all those little appendages. Oh um, yeah, the fingers. He's making like a bunch of fingers and No, thongs. I made it I made it for a Halloween party the other weekend and I and I brought them there and it was cool and everybody liked them. 
and, and the host threw them at people. And <laughs> they were really gross and kind of like sticky. I showed Derek. That's awesome. Yeah, they were, they were pretty stinky and smelly. They were, well, they were smelly, but they were also sticky. And everybody was like, oh, can we eat these? And I was like, why is that everyone's first thought? <laughs> like, because they want to, so You fun. said it was made out of jello anyway. No, no, no. That's that's the thing. I didn't tell them that off the bat. I just said that they were fake ears. And then they asked if yeah, could, you, they could eat them. And I said, well, technically, they're made out of gelatin. Who wouldn't? That's, but, I don't know, me? I went like, <laughs> it's the closest we can get to eating human flesh. <laughs> yeah i suppose you're right yeah <laughs> i shouldn't <laughs> far be it from me <laughs> to question these. you know if you tried to cook it though on the pan it would just melt into goo and you'd be like what oh that'd be kind of crazy yeah fake out a cannibal with with gelatin meat and then when they, <laughs> yeah. when they think they're cooking the human flesh it just melts and they're like yeah what? we need to go to one of those like tribes that still eat people like put a gelatin man oh okay first of all that's a myth, man. What? <laughs> yeah. It's not just like random tribes. The Aztecs ate people. That's like a ritualistic thing. And I guess I mean like tribes that are still around now. Yeah, they don't do that. Yeah, they do. Dude, no, that that's like a I'm pretty sure that's like a myth. There's no what about that like indigenous tribe that's like still like there's still like a tribe. I mean they're you know, like are a, still, like indigenous people. Yeah, like, but they they don't just eat people. What? Like yes, tribes like that exist, but they're not. I'm I am certain they're not cannibalistic because people visit them and like interact with them occasionally to learn. What about that Dude. tribe? Like there was that the helicopter that like flew over the the island, and then like there was that tribe of people that were throwing sticks at them, aren't they? Yeah, but just just how how would they? What did they go there and see them eating people? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm just Dude, that, that's what I'm saying. I was, I was just like, doing a goof. <laughs> <laughs> just doing I, a goof. I thought you were like legitimately. And you ruined the goof. I thought you were legitimately sitting here saying like, well, yeah, these tribals, they eat people. Like, no, they don't. That's crazy. I'm sorry. Well, I thought, I thought that there were. I, I mean, not. I mean, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I just, I know people get really offended when, when, when folks say things like that. Because they're like, there are Amazonian tribes that are like, they, they still live the way that they've always have. But like. They definitely don't eat people. They eat small, fun forest animals and and and, and vegetables. I'm not trying to be like a colonialist and no, be like I all know. the indigenous that's Africans was, that eat people. Worried. That's what I was worried about. I was like, <laughs> I'm not no, trying Derek, to don't. I'm not trying to be like a white man and well, be like, oh, the they all eat people. I'm well, just, uh, I thought well, that there were some tribes no, that still dude, ate people. Some people. Well, that's the thing is the still nobody ever did. There, there were like there are records of like I thought you just said the Aztecs no, and the I, Mayans. I was just about to say no, not the Mayans, the Aztecs. I was just about to say the Aztecs. That is like a recorded. There's like pictures of them cutting people and um, explorers came, like like the explorers that wrote about it gave accounts of like they had meat markets and then they had like special like special like I, I don't know if this is a thing. I I feel like I've heard this where. There's like there's like the normal market and then there's like a mystical mar market where you can get like special shit like incense and stuff. And when they went through there, supposedly they found like human limbs hanging in meat stalls because it was like, yeah, you can eat human parts. To, it's like it's supposed to like they had this they it was part of their like belief in, in death and like rebirth and stuff. And that like you can like gain like extra virility from eating like a human Um I mean, it's not uncommon. I just, no, I, mean, I don't and, think that these like, and I know, like, yeah, like the colonialists. <laughs> sorry, I, I didn't mean to take like a hardcore. Like, no, and history. I know, like, I, I know, like the colonials, like the colonialists. They, you know, when they went to yeah, Africa, they were dumb and stuff, savages. Yeah, they just, they just, well, they just made it up. Yeah, they just. Made, that's what I was worried. No, that's not like, what I'm. That's I, not I, what I meant. I was like, like Eric, I know, like, yeah, Derek. the colonialists, like they went, you know, when they went through Africa, they just yeah. they made it up. They wrote these adventure stories. Yeah, and they just made it up. They're like, oh, they're. They're savages. They eat people. No, I just thought that there were tribes that the, like the, 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 still mean, ate people. May, maybe I don't think, that, but because because I'll say this, I know in like Northern American Native traditions, it's like that's like a really evil thing to do is to eat another human being, and like if you do that, you're like you mean like here, like in yeah, you mean like North yeah, America? yeah, um, like North and Central. I think I don't know about. Well, no, I mean, like, yeah, we have the whole, I mean... Like, Wendigos Yeah, I was just, gonna, are, are I was just like, about to say, yeah, like, the Wendigo. Okay, yeah, yeah like, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. the, uh, so the like, Native American. That's Native American, right? The Wendigo? Yeah, I, th American I, I think it's... Uh, 
I don't remember. I think it's like, because here's the thing, right? It's a, it's a lot like most other myths where there's variations on a theme where like in, in like the Northeast, I think like Canada, Canada territories, like those natives believed in Wendigos, but then in like the Southeast or Southwest, they believe in like skinwalkers, but they're like relatively similar in the, in like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wendigo for nobody who knows, it's like a. They uh, like Native American tribes sort of believed that if you ate somebody, yeah, the spirit did. of a the Wendigo would come over you and you would yeah. turn into like a half like deer skeleton. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are illustrations. Some of them, I mean, in a, in a lot of that, some of them, yeah, they believe like you'll actually transform or that that's just the form that the spirit takes on. But the if you get possessed by it, you just. You don't necessarily in some in some traditions you don't transform you just you become like a husk of who you were and, yeah and you're like this you just have this never ending it's yeah, it's like turning into a zombie kind of it's, but it's more it's, like a raven like a really it depends I mean it depends that's what I'm saying is like twenty eight days later zombies uh, yeah like it depends on that's what I'm saying is it depends on what region yeah it's it's, it. it's different depending yeah, on where it, you hear it from it changes I mean the the one other thing that's interesting about natives uh, Native Americans is is um. A lot of the tribes have like million, like tons of different languages. So they would like a lot of that stuff would get confused across like yeah. different because they're like, like everybody had their own like dialect in a lot of places. That's why it was hard for them to create like centralized like governments and stuff because a lot of them spoke like wildly different languages or like yeah. it'd be like speaking Spanish and Portuguese. You can kind of understand maybe what the other person's saying, but yeah. it's so different that like similar but different. Yeah. yeah like. Yeah, like yeah, I don't know. We this is we're going to no no no. I, you know, like, I think there was something. Isn't there something with <laughs> with, uh, with Roanoke? Wasn't there something with like Roanoke, where um, when the people originally disappeared, and like when the people disappeared, and then those other people came back. No, <laughs> I think I fucked it up. No, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh no, isn't it something like? Uh, Oh no! Now I remember when it was. Isn't it like some Native American tribes were named because, uh, like the white people would talk to the Native Americans and they would say like, say like Wampanoag. Oh and yeah, Wampanoag like, just meant like like hello, I, or, or Wampanoag was like, I don't know what you're saying. Like, <laughs> isn't that isn't that what that was? Like Wampanoag meant like like Dude, the, yeah like really whatever funny. tribe like. The, like they weren't saying the name of their tribe. They were saying, I don't know I what can't understand I can't understand what you're saying. And they were like, That's what your name is. That's and what dude, that's what's so sad, right? Is it's yeah. like <laughs> I mean maybe I think that's what that was. I heard something like that. I think that's what it was. Whether whether or not that's the case, the, the fact of the matter is like our zero percent Native American audience is gonna be really upset. I know, I know right? No, but what I'm saying is like whether or not that's the case, what's super sad is the people that came over legitimately thought that they were like less intelligent but they like super weren't <laughs> yeah <laughs> like uh, of course they weren't like what's his name like king philip was like organizing this awesome rebellion to like get rid of them all but like they just those europeans are yeah. nasty i mean just christopher columbus we just had indigenous people's day yeah, fucking yeah and just fucking he's an yeah asshole. It, it's it's just like well because it's like they're capable of drawing the same conclusions as you. They're just intelligent as they were. It's well, just yeah, of that course they had a they are. very different society that was yeah. structured wildly different. I mean, it's like with anything. It's just they're intelligent. It's just yeah. I mean, you if, can't you, understand if they had them, a centralized just, language, it would have been so much easier for them yeah. to like <laughs> just like hold on a sec, back off, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, yeah. It's anyway. It's just like with anything. It's just. It's just. It's different, but anybody who has the power and the money to come over and take yeah, over I mean, somewhere, they just think it's inferior. That, I mean, yeah. just with colonialism, <laughs> that's with, with taking over. That's part of the thing, right? Is like the belief system was wildly different with like coming from like a like Christian and like, you know, one of the three like primary monotheistic religions from the East is like uh, in Europe they encourage you to like use the earth as as like you know it's like yes the earth is here for you to use like you're meant to take iron ore and, and like and like take from the earth the natives are like totally different they're like no 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 like you're supposed to live in communion with the planet and like not like dig into it and like take shit and they also like you know they didn't get access to gunpowder because they they never like traded with uh, across like you know and they didn't have access to like flint and stuff like that like like they just they didn't have they didn't have the thought to go digging from re natural resources because they didn't want to. And they never, you know, they're just like totally different 
totally different trajectories coming to meet. It was like, it was just like a, a perfect storm of sadness. Sad cast. <laughs> sad cast. Bringing it back around. I, um, I feel really like, it always makes me sad to think about that. It's like, man, that's like a whole, a whole nation, like a whole awesome culture that's just like yeah, fucking it, gone. It, it is really sad. And it's yeah, it's, a, it's a, it's a really great culture. It's an interesting it's culture like, and religion. Like, I don't know, so I don't cool. mean religion, but just like their, their they're mythologies. Like, yeah, their like, spiritualism. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's and it's, and the other thing too is like some of them are really tight lipped about it because they're like no we don't want you to fucking know about this you re-, and it's like oh god yeah. if we were cooler so long ago there was one commercial that I saw recently and it was I think it was like a I want to say it's a Geico some kind of like car or some kind of like tax mm. like app or application or something and there's like the black <laughs> guy and he has the uh, he's sitting in his office and he has all those like uh, stress balls. Uh-huh. And then the the main and then it's like a Native American dude like is the main guy and he's like just this like normal dude but he has like you know he's got like long hair as you know the most yeah nasty. yeah yeah and he's just like the stereo <laughs> and not a stereotype but he's just like a normal dude and he's just like a normal dude in the commercials yeah. being like hey man you could save five percent I don't know so, and something about it I'm like why aren't there more commercials or why like. It was nice to just just to see like a Native American in a commercial, and it wasn't like something stereotypical. Oh, or, they like, weren't like making a point. No, about they weren't it. making a fun. Uh, of, no, it, it wasn't was just like a dude. Who yeah, he was just like a dude, and I was like, "That's cool." I was like, that's... "Maybe he wasn't even native. Maybe he was. I don't know. Whatever." <laughs> yeah, I mean, he looked. He looked it. I hope I'm right. That's, I hope well, that... dude, that's kind of my point. Is it shouldn't even matter. Like to an extent, it's it like, shouldn't even matter. But oh, it, it was listen. nice to just like see it, just to be like, if he is, I don't know For... if he was. He looked it, and if he was, I'm like, that's great like he's just in playing it's he's just, just inclusive he's just being a normal dude. some of them yeah. don't like that like some some natives are like really they're like no we don't want to be a part of your like country's system of whatever yeah and i don't like, blame them <laughs> no i know i don't like, blame the, them. the problem is is it's hard for them to like get support for themselves other it's like they are they are it's it's like it's sad they're in a shitty like state yeah it, yeah i, I imagine like it must awful. be shitty where it's like they dude have you seen like they need some they need support from other from like they need support from something else but they don't want to be a have, part have you of like it seen the reservations and things that they live on some of them not really they're no. not fucking good <laughs> yeah it like i i don't i don't i i studied it briefly in switzerland i don't, I don't remember learn the about, i kind of want to learn dude, more about it i really do like, do it's it's like it's a big part of this country I mean, I mean try at least yeah but uh but what i was gonna say is um I don't know what the rules are now or, or if I'm remembering this correctly, but they're not considered like part of the U.S. technically. And they don't get like support from the U.S. government uh, so much. And like so they end up living in like total squalor. Uh, what the fuck? It's fucked up. It's really. So well, dude, even you, after you know all these years, is, we're still fucking th- them over. Th- that's what exact that that's why I'm like, it's a touchy subject to talk about Native Americans because like so fucking long ago we forced them all into reservations and we were just like we know that you think that nobody can own the land but we've decided we can so we're going to and we're going to kill you all and like treat you like shit and force you into like a, just a mass genocide it was a genocide yeah, yeah and, I, and, and, I don't and think, it continues today and i don't think like, anybody really call i don't nobody know. thinks about it yeah, yeah nobody, nobody thinks, thinks about, about it, it and i don't think anybody no, i don't think anybody really considers it a genocide that's what's so bad about it is because yeah. it's like it because here's the thing right you know and this is gonna sound a little controversial and weird but like this is the sad world, cast let's but, do this it. is the fucking sad yeah. cast, dude this really is world war ii like defined for a lot of people at least in today's world i think what a genocide looks like because it was it was a quote unquote civilized society doing a very systematic removal of certain like ethnic and religious and racial backgrounds from a country in a very like clearly defined way. And so it's like, yeah, that's what it is. They're rounding them up. They're gassing them and they're enslaving them. But if you look at it, that's exactly what we did to the natives. We landed here. And that's the other thing. That, that's what's also sad. It's like after a point, a lot of the a lot of the white folk realized Oh, they are just as intelligent as us, but they're not as advanced. So it's not like they were like, you know, some people describe it as like manifest destiny. We were uplifting them from their savagery. It's like, no, no, no. That's just colonialism. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. No, we knew full well that they were not savage. We like after a certain point, they realized that like that is not the case. 
We knew full well that that wasn't the case. We knew they were clearly capable of like complex societal organization and took advantage of that. And like, that was the other thing too, is they made poor, they didn't enslave natives because if a native, first of all, they're fucking clever. Like Native Americans were not, again, they weren't stupid. And they also, they didn't build cities and roads. They knew how to live in the woods. So if they got away from someone who like owned them as a slave, there's no way you were ever going to fucking find them again. Yeah. <laughs> like they'd be gone back to somewhere. It may be harder for them too. That's the other thing too is like some tribes didn't like each other. So if you were in the wrong, it was just, dude, it was just fucking tough. It was tough because that was the other thing too is like the language barrier, like the the colonialists and stuff like they took advantage of that because they knew oh they don't all speak the same language we can force these guys in with these guys and they'll just kill each other yeah and then that's it and then we'll make them all say that that's there's also i feel like i've read that like somewhere along the line they knew that like they they had come with smallpox some of them got sick and then they, instead of burning those blankets, they gave them to well, natives. Well, no, that's what happened. Yeah. yeah okay. That's what happened. Yeah. Which is like, what the, like, if that's not a, I mean, that's a set, that, that age is equivalent of mustard gassing and like, you know, putting yeah. people in. You ever heard of like the Armenian genocide? Yeah. Okay. That's one I, I don't know a lot about, but that's yeah, another I, one I feel I, like I, a I lot of people. I learned about it. I took a Islam in the world <laughs> all these, class. All these, like, yeah. there's, there has not been well, like, so yeah, so, 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 Ar- so Armenia wasn't a country <laughs> yet awful. Yeah. and he wasn't a country yet and they were living in germany they were or no well like all these uh yeah all these armenians were living in germany mm-hmm. i think they were i forget what they were called before armenians i, I they were all all these dude that whole a part of the world is yeah, like constantly they, they were all living well. in germany and then and they were all these all these muslims and they were just like uh, so we're teaming up with, I forget what country they were teaming up, but they're like, we're teaming up with this country and we don't want you in, in our country anymore. So they literally just, they, they didn't, Bye. they didn't shoot them or kill them or anything. All they did was they took everybody, they took them all out and they said goodbye and yeah. they just pushed them out of the country. That's what they did. And to they, the they made them travel. <laughs> they were like, good luck. And it's like, yeah. and People debate back <laughs> and forth awful. on whether if it's a genocide or not, but it was clearly a genocide where they just kind of like Dude. took no. everything. And there's a big problem in the country where in our and there's a big problem in the country like if our in Armenia where like the elected people don't even consider it a genocide. Oh, the I think the newest elected person is considering it a genocide wow but like using it for political power i'm kind of mm. rusty on it i'm sure people will yeah I mean, it, it leave us comments to correct us also especially yeah me. that's another thing for sure please don't get angry at us yeah. like we say something yeah. ignorant. <laughs> we're just two dudes yeah just yeah, talking but yeah talk about it in the comments correct yeah, us. yeah we'd love let us to know. yeah that's one thing like that stuff i definitely mean to like look up it just makes me really sad to yeah think it's about. it's I, I'm all for positivity in the world, and I, I'm a very optimistic you, person. You but have to is... be aware of this stuff mm-hmm. so that it doesn't happen again. Like that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's what history's for. Ex- exactly. That's why when people control it, it's like it's it's yeah, it's a scary, dangerous thing. That I mean, that is essentially what they did to the Native Americans. Is they started putting them on. They were like, okay, we'll cut you a deal. We'll take some of your land, about you know ninety eight percent of it, and put you on tiny tiny bordered pieces of land that you can call yours and it's not technically u.s soil and then yeah they just slowly died that's the other thing is they didn't have like as far as i understood it the only thing that the only substance they intook was like tobacco and so like they weren't used to alcohol or anything so they all became like it was it was easy to make them like alcoholics and make them incredibly dependent on you know the white man's whiskey and use that to like fuck them over because that's what happens on reservations that's what happened for a long time and it's still an issue it's like severe like dangerous amounts of alcoholism that is just like debilitating and they like really yeah dude it's, it's i had fu- i didn't know that that's it's, crazy dude it's it was like they, they're, they're the legitimate plan with putting them on reservations was that they would just all die in the reservation and it wouldn't be a problem anymore and then you you know about like the trail of tears yeah and like yeah so like they 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 fucking they're still around and they come back every now and again being like hey you guys owe us like a shitload for ruining our lives Mm -hmm. like permanently like that genocide obviously like many didn't like fully come to fruition i suppose but still that's that's essentially what they did is they were like okay 
this is our country, whether you like it or not. We're building cities here. We're building road, railroads here. We have all the guns. You have you have nothing. We're just going to mm-hmm. get rid of you. So you can go stay in fucking North Dakota. Uh, fuck off. You ever heard of the movie um, Wind River? Yes. I have not seen it, though. It's really, really good. It um, It's about... Oh, wait. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, it's about this this guy in Wyoming about Jeremy the Jeremy Renner's character Kobe Kobe Lambert he he takes place in Wyoming and like mm. this girl this uh Native American girl, girl like disappears mm. she get I won't spoil it but like she disappears and like uh Jeremy Renner's character he had a daughter I think who was also Native American and she also disappeared oh wait watch watch the fist banging I meant to say at the top of this we both like bang our hands for emphasis and you can hear it in okay the- <laughs> yeah i know i it's like hard not to um, i'm sorry <laughs> no yeah that, so he's and then an fbi agent comes by and helps him out and like uh-huh. jeremy renner's just like a he's just like a like a wildlife reserve officer patrol whatever he's just right, like a, he's like a park ranger yeah exactly yeah. and it has a it's this very like native american community uh-huh. and the more you kind of Further along the mystery, excuse me. Excuse you, sir. There's more. There's <laughs> that, like that's right. You had two burgers before this. Thing. Yeah, there's more. Uh, like this, more like racism towards mm-hmm. Native Americans. And by it the end sad. of it, it very like by the end of the movie, like literally this this like message pops up where it's like uh, something percent of Native Americans like disappear or like are kidnapped. Yeah, like it doesn't never... get investigated or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Because because it, 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 technically the FBI is like, no, it's not a problem. Yeah, whatever. And it's it, I just brought that up because we're talking about that, and right. it's just like, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, they really. I didn't even know it was an issue. Like, no, dude, it's it's still a big problem today. And it's a, it's a very powerful. <laughs> this was a couple years ago. This movie. No, I, I saw that. It's super po- It's a super powerful movie. I'd recommend anybody. I think it's on Netflix. Cool. Uh, I recommend everybody watch it. And it, it you don't even know it's you don't even know it's trying Ooh. to you you don't even know it's trying to like oh. tell a message until the end of the movie when that when that when that pops up and i was like oh my god i didn't even know that this was a problem this is insane like dude oh my god i cannot fucking remember the name i'm gonna put it in the description of the video or the podcast i can't remember the name of the movie i'll I'll fucking add a link to it too there's a very similar movie came out a a while ago i think in the like late to mid 90s Mm -hmm. god damn it oh my god i had to write a report in the cupboard (laughs) (laughs) no (laughs) no but yes no <laughs> no ah oh, fuck what was it god it had that really famous like maori actor um he's like ripped god what what is he in that's like famous as fuck you've, you've seen him in a million things i'm sure he, he's he's from new zealand he's a new zealand actor but it's about the native population in new zealand and how shitty they're treated and it follows the life of the... I mean, you know what? I won't spoil it because the ending is fucking insane. Are you talking about Taika Waititi? No. No, no, no. But it's about this young girl and just like her, her life living as um, what's considered like, you know, native of the, of the whale country. Whale rider? Yes! <laughs> fucking whale rider. Wait, let me see it. Do you mind if I... Yeah. Let me actually look. It may not actually be whale rider. No. The New Zealand. Chiefdom in New Zealand. No, it's no, it's super sad. It's really violent. She uh she doesn't get to do anything cool. <laughs> okay. No, this is not the movie. Okay. No. No. It it just anyway. it just follows yeah, it, d- dude, it's basically a slice of life movie. You know, ba- basically like 3 days in her life essentially. And like her parents are abusive. Her father is an alcoholic. He's always getting into fights. They have their friends over all the time. Like it's it's just like the, the these people are like forced into poverty and just like pushed onto the margins totally forgotten and be and they have like no resources nobody trusts them nobody likes them and like it's just so fucking weird and dude south africa has a similar it, god it's, it's so weird people are fucking weird dude people, people are fucking weird people are capable of like the most bizarre cruelty and it's like what why like what's it what's it fucking matter okay yeah they got different they got cool colored skin and they swing clubs around like that's badass they have kick-ass tattoos they have a different, and cool buildings they have a different point of view than you so what they have a they have a that's my thing and right? the boomers say that we can't handle criticism <laughs> well, no, we well, can't like, handle differing opinions <laughs> well i know right well that's the thing right is it's like why is that such a like i don't understand why people came into that and they're like 
no, let's get rid of it. Like, why why not be like, oh, this is interesting and new. Let's incorporate. Hey, how about we like incorporate our society? I mean, obviously, how about we team up? I mean, there there are conservatives on either side. Obviously, like if they if the Europeans came and tried to like assimilate, you know, natives, the natives would probably push back and be like, wait, we don't want to assimilate. That's why it's more. Well, that's why it's not. It's like well, maybe not combine the cultures, but just be like, okay. Let's come to a compromise. We don't need your land, but we'd like to live on your land. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. People are you fucking know, they, dumb. I mean, it ain't Star Trek yet. <laughs> it ain't Star Trek. It it is weird. Like, I mean, I mean, we wouldn't even be here talking. Dude, I fucking know. That we wouldn't even that, be here talking. What, that's if, what's so sad. Is it's like, <laughs> no, I mean, like it, it's just it. It is weird. It's like if if we hadn't taken over the Native Americans or even taken over the land, like. Who we could have been living very different lives. Me Dude, and you might not even be alive having this podcast. Exactly, it's, it's very or, strange or to think we, about. If we were, it'd be in an entirely different capacity. Like maybe we'd be we'd be making films like over in Europe or something. Yeah, we'd like be we, in, we'd be in yeah we 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 would be a fucking we'd German. be in London. Yeah, we'd be fucking German. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, who knows? I mean, not. I mean, it's it's, it's crazy to think it's about. It's complicated. Yeah, it's because weird cause, thing on both. It's just weird. It's it, like it's weird because like I, I've heard people say this, and 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 you don't want to think of it as a fact. I don't like to think that maybe early on this is a fact, but it's like the world was built on violence. Like the world is built on like cruelty. It's like you know the rich get to the top because they're cruel, and it's like the current world is built on that. Yes, I don't think that that's like a path or pattern that is like should be considered like yeah that's how like i feel like some people just take that and they swallow that and they're like yep the world's a harsh place and it's like well it doesn't have to be we if we all like, no i mean yeah the world was it, uh, that's what i'm saying it was like, built it, on violence and it was built on that society that's the thing it's like yeah it's like you have it, it's, to it's, it's sort of it's the sort of black and white thing we were talking about before where it's like it's either this or this where it's like no it's like yeah the world was the world was violent and bloody tough, for yeah. a long time because we didn't really we didn't really that's have how a we so- under, That's how we understood interaction. Yeah. We didn't, like, well, I'll take what you have. We didn't really have a society. We were yeah. figuring it out. And then as well, we Well, even, as even we afterward, evolved, like, look at the fucking Romans. Like, yeah. one of the most, like, advanced ancient civilizations ever. They were, like, brilliant. They took over most of the planet. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's like, how'd they do that? War. But to an extent, that was awesome because it gave order and infrastructure to all that land and created like beautiful art and stuff. So it's like it's hard to be like, well, this is right and this is wrong. But it's well, yeah, like, well, it's like look at our current world now. It's like, do we really need war now? Like when we're no, well, so that's, that's when we're thing. mostly like we're very civilized people like in this day and age. Like that's the thing, conquest just doesn't work anymore. Like some some people, you're gonna say like you know take the fucking tinfoil hat off for a second, but. But honestly, some people like I, I don't think realize like the, the very tenuous thread we, we, we share with the rest of the world that that like fallout fallout could really happen. Every every country that has nuclear missiles decides to launch them and just ends like there, there's like this this threat of nuclear annihilation that's like, OK, yes, we will not take all of your land because we know that if we do, you could just fail safe, hard reset, destroy the planet. And then we're all dead. Nobody gets the land. So we all have to kind of work together. But there was a period of time, like like up to World War One and Two, was there was an idea of like, you know, Germany Germany took a lot of land in in like World War One and lost land. And it's like, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of crazy to think that like, I I feel like we could get along and and survive together, but knowing that like. Still holding on to that, like, artifice of, like, the Red War where, like, well, if you start throwing nukes, then we'll start throwing nukes. And then we'll all be dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's fucking insane. Yeah. <laughs> to think about. No, yeah, we, I mean, we have, we're, dude, we have a, a ton, we have, we have so many nukes. North Korea has so many and nukes. They, like, and they continue to make them, like, stronger. Like, that's yeah. the thing. It's like, they, it's not like they stopped, to, it's, not, it's not like we have, like, old megaton bombs from, from World War II. It's like, no, we, we have bombs that could, like, annihilate half the planet. Yeah, <laughs> like, and you can't destroy. You can't like destroy them or deactivate. No, that's them. Yeah. the biggest they're, issue. They're just in. They're bu- just there. They're just sitting in bunkers, like not doing anything. That's, like, that's the other thing too. Is if somebody launched them, they could even detonate those if they land. And it's like it's like a it's like fucking. Would we even survive? We couldn't survive. No, right no. Yet. That that's what I'm saying. No, dude. I'll tell you this. Uh, the same Fallout seventy six folks. No, no, <laughs> absolutely not. We would be annihilated. No, dude. Uh, yeah, be fucking Watchmen if anything. Um, 
you mentioned earlier, like, we wouldn't be here if, like, we didn't take over the over the Earth. Yeah, dude, if JFK didn't pull what he did in the Cuban Missile Crisis, nobody on the planet would be here. Like, he, he, there was, I had a, okay, so I had this teacher who taught, I, I took this 60s class when I was in, in school, and I had this teacher who actually, like, lived through, like, the Vietnam War and stuff, and, like, he was, like, a part of this, this, like, that age, and he was telling us, like, JFK was, like, going after the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and they were trying to paint JFK as an idiot who couldn't handle military things. The truth is, JFK wanted not, like, he wanted to, like, change the, you know, the U.S. economy is running like a military industrial complex, and he's trying to like sort of change our foreign policy to not function around having to be at war all the time, and f to focus more domestically. At the time, they, you know, they they're like that doesn't make us enough profit, and and also he was firing joint chief, parts of the joint chief of staff, so they wanted to keep their jobs, so they wanted to get rid of JFK somehow and make him look like an idiot. The truth of the matter is, if he didn't do it, he did and settle things down. Uh, Russia was going to launch a bunch of bombs and then we were going to launch a bunch of bombs and everybody was going to die. And he was he was telling us, he's like, yeah, I remember being like, he was not a kid at the time. He was like, I, I don't know, like 11 something. He's like, yeah, I remember thinking like in school that one day thinking like, man, I might die tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> like we're all just going to like, there was a very serious moment in U.S. history of like, in world history of like, yeah, if the U.S. and Russia don't calm the fuck down, we're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> like nobody gets I mean, we still have, I mean, we have that now with with north korea Dude, and that's what i'm saying we have that now i mean and i don't even it think, never went away yeah it's it like, never really went away i mean like it, yeah but people forget about it yeah people forget about it i forget about it i forget had forgot about it until right now Dude, that's why i fucking play video games to get high i don't want to think about it <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to make movies I just yeah don't forget Dude, about it. i work on i work on shows and stuff all day and then at the end of the day i'm like okay i'm gonna get really stood and just like fucking not think about the world <laughs> yeah ignorance is bliss ignorance is bliss i mean that's what's hard right is it's like you want people to be aware of of certain things so that we can like not so we can do stuff about it but like what can you do about it really what can you see that's the thing what right what can you do about a nuclear bomb <laughs> so that yeah i mean what, really what can you do like we have to just throw them on the space and like but that would be also a terrible idea yeah because <laughs> like if they blew up in the atmosphere fall you know whatever there's, I mean, what are you, what are you gonna do? It, it's, it's really, it's like, really like opening Pandora's box, being like, well, I mean, right now it seems like both sides are just kind of like flaunting their bombs. They're not, well, they don't really want to use them. They're just like, that's what I'm saying is, is if like, if we do, or like, like, like if some of the more, if some of the countries that have more advanced, like more money and and technology who have been developing nuclear bombs do decide to use those. It will be fucking chaos. Mm -hmm. um, like if North Korea fires a bomb, it's probably not going to be an issue. <laughs> there will probably be, be a way to take care of it before it even lands anywhere. But like, you know, just given what they're probably capable of making. But I think if Russia or the U.S. decide to use one of their nuclear bombs, those things are, are like that. Or if one of those detonates somehow domestically, that would be a fucking disaster. <laughs> yeah. Because then it would probably set off the ones around it wherever they're being held. And then like, that, like... There goes the U.S. Like that, because the thing about a nuclear bomb isn't isn't just the amount of damage it does when it lands; it's the fallout afterward. Like, if there's enough power behind that bomb, it can create like a nuclear winter that like covers the planet and blocks out the sun for like two hundred years. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, it's not so much that like we'll all burn to death, but more so that like we will ruin our atmosphere and, and, and like weather systems so that like, and destroy our planet essentially it, we're doing now. Yeah. 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 But to like the, the utmost, like yeah. up whatever degree, like it's dude, nuke, nuke. there's people being like, but there'd be actually like fallout and then it would be fallout. And we could You're live. an idiot. If you think that like, <laughs> like you don't turn to a ghoul, like dude, uh, you turn into a ghoul. Dude, you turn, <laughs> you turn it, you look like a ghoul, but like, there was a, uh, I was listening to Mega 64 podcast a while ago and Derek on there was, re Derek, me? <laughs> he was reading this, I, th I think it was like something that, like the history of Hiroshima, it was something Hiroshima, Tales from Hiroshima or something, it was about like, basically just like what life was like in Japan right after the bombs fell on Hiroshima because people didn't know what like radio radioactivity like radiation was at the time mm -hmm. uh, especially in Japan where they like had no idea that this bomb was even going to be fucking dropped on them yeah and there was this doctor going around trying to help people and one day he was like biking uh to like another hospital to go continue more like healing work having no idea how to help these people with radiation because he had no idea what the fuck was going on with them 
and he heard some rustling in the bushes and he and he heard like someone calling out and he found these three soldiers Japanese soldiers and they looked at him and they're like hey we can't can you help us we can't see and he explained he was a doctor and they're like great well we can't see and he didn't have the heart to tell them that their eyes had melted out of their heads because of radiation <laughs> And they, they just had empty eye sockets. Oh, my God. Fucking radiation is not a joke. Like, it's terrible. Um, can you fucking imagine how how <sighs> awful? Like, you're looking at this guy and you have to tell him, like, I literally, there's, your eyes are just gone. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't have eyeballs anymore. That's. <laughs> People just like, yeah, dude. No, ra- yeah. Sad cast. Sad, sad podcast. Sad, sad cast. Like, radiation is. Oh, their fallout would never 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 happen there's no way that could ever be a thing there uh it and also that's the other thing is it takes hundreds of years for radiation to settle and even then we're fucked even then y- yeah there's there's no way life can like grow for i mean hey, that, u.s north korea russia everybody who has put anything. your take your bombs and <laughs> dig them into the earth put them somewhere else. put them in the take your bombs get and them push them somewhere else <laughs> put them all together duct tape them all together and get a big funny cartoon fuse and light it and throw them off put past it, the moon put it in the ground i want it i want it i want it out of here put it deep 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 underground <laughs> and we'll never talk about it ever again if you did that it would that would almost be worse. I feel like it would like see whatever. Yeah, to, to put it down there or anywhere really. Just get it out of here. Make a big rocket. It. Put them all in the rocket and launch exactly. them off into the atmosphere. Hey, Iron Giant, get him to just yeah. scoop him up in his arms and leave. Lead him into a black hole. Put him into a black hole. Can, there you go. Hey, what if we did that? Yeah, there you go. And then like thousands of years later, humans are like gone. It's a whole new other like race living on the planet. And then aliens come by like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> you blew up. <laughs> you blew up. Terrible. Yeah, the, the black hole transported it to their, <laughs> exactly. to their planet. That'd be terrible. It takes like thousands of years to get here and they get here and they're like, um, excuse us. <laughs> excuse me. You blew up our moon. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the black hole. <laughs> Shit, that's right. That was thousands of years ago. We forgot. It. We'd be like the Romans at that point. Yeah. Smart, but stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I have some faith in the human race because we haven't fucked up anything i do too but then yet. i then i talk to some people and i'm like oh god <laughs> why are you alive <laughs> you ever look you look ever kind of look around and you're like why is everybody alive why are this many people alive yes you ever just like look Dude, around any, in your classroom anytime i get on the train anytime yeah i get on the train i'll mix around with people i'm like and i Dude, that's why it's like, I hear some people talk about, like, I overhear some conversations, and we've complained about some dumb things on this podcast. I hear people complain about things on the train that are, like, so, like, things I can't even remember because they're so meaningless. I heard this one woman, like, complaining about, like, the way, like, a co-worker was just, like, how, how he, like, copied his files or something in the photocopying machine or something. She's just, like, annoyed by the way he did it. And she was complaining about that on the train, like, vehemently to her friends. And I was like, I feel like... I would see someone do something like that and forget about it in an instant. In fact, I wouldn't even be bothered by that. It's such a minor, minor yeah. thing. Like, that would not even be on my mind. You just hear people talking about the stupidest things, like, Jessica said this, or, that. or, she said or that. that, or that. Yeah, people gossiping about their friends. And, I mean, a bit of gossip isn't, like, awful. Especially if it's something, like, especially if it's something, like, cra- like, like if one of your friends is going crazy. It's not really gossip at that point. You're like, hey, so You just listen to people. Up. Like, it just, yeah, dude, and he said this, and she said that. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> people, I hear people talk and complain about, like, stupid things like that. You just listen to people talk, and you're like, what is yeah. even the purpose? Why do you matter? Yeah. Why do <laughs> we you, all matter? What are you doing with it? Yeah, I know. Well, Maybe we okay. don't. All right, let's not go there. <laughs> Maybe we don't. No, let's get philosophical. Let's get no, philosophical and sad. We're already in the sad to. cast. We talked about no, genocide and nuclear bombs. this is the bombs. sad cast, not the... Not the Horrible existential depression cast. I'm already in an existential depression. Right, Twenty four seven. I think it's time we end. The- <laughs> no, I yeah, I I do I do have that thought that when I go on the train and things, I'm like, yeah, what is everybody's? I don't know. I just sometimes I do think people are worthless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do. Yeah, I, I I look at some people and I'm like, some of these people are just gonna go to their nine it's- to five and. It's also well, they're just gonna. There's nothing wrong with that. No, like- I I guess I don't mean it like that, but it's just like. I look at some people and you just think like, are they even going to try to well, 
what what it is for me is like when I look at some people, and it's like, wow, I can tell you think that you are really important, but you're definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Like when I'm when I'm driving with like Jacob or my mom, it's like, oh my god, who the fuck do you think you are? Like like like, like sometimes people will come in front of us and I'm like, no, we no. The other day we were sitting in trap. We were sitting at a red light, and we were waiting to do our turn. And the guy behind us was just like making all these faces and flipping out, and just like, oh, oh my god, whoa! whoa. No one can see my hand motions, but like he was like jabbing his fingers at the, you know what I mean? Like when someone's like really like go go and like motion with their hands. And he's just like, come on. And I'm looking at him in the rear view. My mom and I is, is too. She's like, what is with this guy? <laughs> like, this guy's a fucking idiot. And he's like, and I'm sitting there thinking like, this is a red light. What do you want? Do you want us to run the red light for you, sir? In the big truck behind us? And it's, yeah. it's always a dude in like a really big fucking, it's always a skinny white guy in a massive truck. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I don't no, know. yeah, I, I agree. It's like, he's got, he's got Trump. Trump forever on his bumper. <laughs> Trump Trump is my husband. Yeah. Maybe it's just our insecurities. Oh, yes. I mean... Of us wanting to be bigger than we are. I mean, everybody wants that. Everybody wants like that. to be bigger than yeah. what they are. Yeah, but some people act it out and they're real brats. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it really is. I don't like brats. Yeah, I don't like brats. I don't like bratty people. Change the subject. Let's go happier. I've been playing... Destiny a lot. Oh, really? Like yeah. the first one? Yeah. Oh, why? Um, <laughs> that sounded really. Uh, oh, why? Yeah, I didn't mean for that to sound. No, so I like, imagine a lot of people are like that. doing that. I imagine a lot of people are like that because Destiny, Destiny Two is that with all the. Well, cool Destiny stuff. is such got such not bad reviews, but Destiny did not get the I, best reviews. I mean, I'm enjoying Destiny Two, even though I haven't paid for anything. Like, I'm still actually having. Fun um, with it. I've been playing Destiny One because it's fun. I like it. Uh, it's a it's <laughs> literally a, no other reason. Yeah, it's a fun game. It's you just like anymore. I like I I don't. Yeah, it can get kind of grindy sometimes, and it can get yeah. kind of repetitive. But I I and but sometimes I do really enjoy that, and the story missions are fun, and yeah. upgrading your person and and uh, <laughs> getting new armor and stuff is really fun, um, and the gunplay is really fun, yes. and the big open world is awesome and. The graphics are great and it's very detailed and it's a fun game. Mm -hmm. Me and a dude went. I was doing a strike and uh, it was just me and this other like random like character, like uh, not even not even characters, like another player. Yeah. Like, online, we were just like shooting these dudes. Like we were yeah. the same level. We we're just like shooting these dudes. And, like and we were just like grinding through the. We not even yeah. grinding, but it was like just a strike. We we're just like getting through the level and we like got to the final boss. We were like dancing and we were like, oh, all yeah, right. Dude. See you later, man. That was it. And like yeah, it was. That's what I enjoy. About and it. it was so fun. It's so fucking fun, dude. I have all the same things to say about the second one. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like it's it's fun to it's fun to jump in there. It's fun to it's fun to do that. Like I've always I I grew up playing RPGs <clears throat> and grinding for things. I like I I like the grind. I like uh, there's something really relaxing to me about just like putting a game on, having like a cup of tea and like maybe some co like two or three cookies and just sitting in front of your computer and just like. You know, just just fucking sitting there like doing the same thing over and over again. Cause like, and it's not always the same. Obviously, like I, I, they probably do this in the first one, but I know in the second one, like <clears throat> you can run the same levels a few times. But sometimes I have like a single player option if you can't find two other people to join the match, and it'll be like a different path through the same level and stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah, it's um like you can do patrols or whatever. Or like yeah, oh that's true. Do the, too. Do the story yeah. mission. Do like the, Dude, do like the same story mission over Mars, again. Mars is a mess on fucking <laughs> Destiny. 2. Dude, Destiny Two Mars on the overworld map of Mars when you're just running around on Mars and you're not doing the vanguard strikes or anything. Um. You can just join public events like every second, or at least the other day. Yeah, there's always noticed. like on uh in 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 old Russia in the first uh -huh. in the first game. There's always like like you go to this specific part in the map. Yeah, there's always like these dark dudes. spawns. Yeah, yeah. constantly dropping people. Yeah. Like players just like farming and grinding. It's fucking for cool. gear. Yeah, it is really Dude, cool. You can always join a public event. It's so it's. I found this bow that is like. It's like godly. This yeah, is it's fucking. It's just insane. fun and like it's. It's so like all the armor sets are great. Yeah, you look cool. Yeah, you just look badass all the time, dude. My warlock. Oh, your warlock. I'm a. I always pick. Well, I, I, I. When I first played the game, I did a hunter, 
but I, I made a new profile and now I'm a Titan and I'm enjoying the Titan way more than a hunter. And Titans, and I love the, and more so, I love the armor for Titan. Yeah, they look I, cool. The armor for Titan looks like awesome. Big. And I, do, what, what? who do you pick for like your uh, class? Like your, I like the Exos. Yeah, I picked the Exos yeah, too, yeah. Dude, that, that's, I well, love the Exos. I was saying that the other day when I was talking about Destiny 2 is a, I like when you can be a robot in yeah. games. I really, I really like robots. Well, the character creator is really dumb for like the human looking characters. Oh yeah. The robots, like they just look weird. The robots, the Dude, robots the, look better. The right? robots look fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah I, I made a, I made all three just to try them out. And, uh, I really like the warlock. I like, um, I like, I like the, the glide ability that they have and like using the, um, being the, uh, I like the void and fire, like solar things that you can do as them. But, uh, I like, I like the hunter, when I was first playing, everybody was a hunter. Like, okay. like when I was playing for the first few days, I was like, everyone's. I'm like, I'm literally the only warlock, and everyone's a hunter. Uh, and then I started to see more titans and things as I got into like, you know, further along. But like, I really like the warlock because I like, I like the spells you can do. I like the heal you have. I like being able to fly around. Hunter is all right. I don't see the. I don't know. Like, like the the warlock is like a cool support class. The titan. The Titan, like, kind of tanks and does damage, I guess. But the other thing, too, about these classes is... The Hunter uh, is kind of like the Rogue, kind of. I suppose. I have not been able to find, like, a cool way to use the Hunter yet, though. I the, Like, the Warlock, I'm like, yeah, this is it. But uh, I, I like the... Yeah, and the I Titan, haven't, too. I I've get, never, I I've get never been a... I've too. never really been... And that's the thing, too, and I guess that's why I like Titan more, is that, I, and I've noticed whenever I play RPGs, I'm always... Like I always pick the heavy. Yeah. I never pick. I never I do. Like spellcasters. I never. Yeah. I never do spell cat. Like like Skyrim, for example. I never really use the spells, and I don't like the short handed like daggers or anything like that. I always pick like big broad swords, yeah. big axes, it's cause, hammers. Cause I do pick the heavy. Damage. Yeah, like the heavy armor. Like it, I always do that. It's really cool to feel like you're like a bastion of destruction amongst yeah. a bunch of enemies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know what it is. And like, I just always gravitate towards that. And I always think like, well, maybe I'll try. Too. I always think like, maybe I'll try spell casting or I'll try daggers. But I, I just always gravitate you, towards like the heavy. You know why I think that might be a thing is because in a lot of RPGs, at least, um, it's quicker to, you, you have, when you play as those heavy hitting warriors, you notice big results faster, I think. Like, you do more damage and can sustain more bullshit sooner than other classes. But if you're patient enough with the rogues and mages, you end up, like, like, like for example, like, most magic classes are, like, glass cannons. Where, like, in the beginning of the game, it's like, you're gonna get shit on endlessly. And you're gonna have a really hard fucking time. And you're probably actually gonna have to invest some points in some, some martial abilities. But once you get a hold on those spells... You are just incinerating everything you see. Yeah. And you're like unstoppable. And same thing with the daggers. Like, you know, getting getting your guys good enough at like dexterity and stuff. So those those daggers that at your first few levels sucked, now they're doing like insane critical damage and you're like just laying waste to enemies. You can't take it to it. That's my thing with the like everybody has access to the same weapon types. And so it's not like it's not like the warlocks are restricted to these weapons, the titans are restricted to these weapons that are like catered to their class. You can kind of just use anything. So I'm like, really, you say that like hunters damage, titans tank, and warlock support, but they have different. But uh, but then the warlocks and titans and hunters, they all have their own armor sets. They have armor sets that and spells. Ha- they have their own armor sets that They're do their own abilities, s- and then they have their own. Yeah, but, but each class has their own certain set of abilities. No, I are- know, but the abilities don't come into play all that often. At least mm-hmm. I've found. Uh, maybe I mean, as a titan, I don't like, know about the the first game. I as a as it. a titan, I have like I I think I can generate. I don't really use it that often, but like, oh no, yeah, like when I when I like. Hit someone, I generate like a shield. So then, okay, yeah, yeah, when yeah. When I hit yeah, someone, yeah, yeah, I generate yeah. there's a shield around me. So then, like, I don't get hit as much. But and then also, that, I have like a sticky grenade. It doesn't have to. But those abilities always have to like recharge. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying is like maybe in the first one they come back faster. But what I found in in the second one is like I'll use one of those abilities and like it takes me a minute before I can use. Like it, it's not. It's not like I'm using it constantly. I'm using it like very sparingly, and it ends up being. It does take relatively... a while, but also what helps recharge that is yeah, like uh, certain is like upgrading your discipline and your power. Like okay, those, those so stats right next but to that. that. So that's what I'm saying is that's determined by the armor. So it's not like 
Titans are getting armor or weapons because weapons can give you that too. Okay, the weapons. I might be wrong. I think only armor can do that. Actually, yeah. So and you can you can upgrade your armor and change it. But that's what I'm saying is like when I get a thing of armor, it's not like it's catered to being a warlock. Like the stats are random on it. And yeah, I, and I just kind of have to like pick and choose the the, the better ones. It, it 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 to me what it comes down to I think is like how you like to move through the world. And what types of ability? Because like they they all have like a different jump. Like the like a like the warlock can glide. I like the glide because like I I play I play a lot. It's like the solar one, and like I will glide over a bunch of enemies, and I have the ability that makes it so I can shoot in the air and not not end my glide. Yeah, well, you have the you have you're talking about the double jump jetpack. No, there's a there's like the subclasses so like you can pick like the i don't remember the fucking names but you can pick the one that has to do with fire you can pick the one that has to do with arc damage you can pick the one that has to do with void damage and then within those classes there's a there's a subclass you can choose and it's like the fire warrior or something is what i like to do and it lets you you get a it's it's more anchored towards like aerial combat so like you'll get um your glide is a lot you can stay in the air for a lot longer Mm -hmm. And I think, like, you do more damage to enemies when you're floating in the air. And also, like, when you shoot, generally, your glide stops. Like, your glide will shut off and you, like, plummet to the earth. With this, it doesn't. So, and then the more kills I get while I'm in the air, the faster it recharges my grenade. So, I like to play that because, uh, I mean, that's that's my thing, right? It's like, that's why I like the Warlock is because I understand how it works. Like, I, I don't, and I, and the Titan, too. I don't see where the rain, the Hunter f- fits in. Like, I don't, I'm playing the Hunter. I'm trying to find, like their utility for myself i don't know whatever the hunter just feels like a cool like middle ground like i don't know because they're not as mobile as a warlock yeah and they're not as resilient as a titan but you can still move because they have that dodge ability and shit yeah i don't know whatever i'm going on about this you want to end here we can i mean we just we got real sad and then we talk about yeah. destiny <laughs> <laughs> one, one and, two, and now we're like, all right, bye. why don't we call it a night? My tum tum hurts. Yeah, your tum tum hurts. My tum tum uh, hurts. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us on the sad podcast, yeah, Human it's a, Pasta. Sad time. Um, after our Halloween spectacular. After our Halloween spectacular. That didn't come out on Halloween, but. <laughs> yeah, it didn't come out on Halloween. But whatever. Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll talk to you next time, guys. Yeah, have a have a funny evening. Yeah, Bye-bye. have a much happier evening than we did. <laughs> I was gonna say after what we talked about, it's hard to say have a funny evening. Have a sad evening. Just be. It's okay to be sad. Be, be sad. Be dreary. It's okay to be sad. Make be a sad. cup of tea and frown. Have and a good cry. Later. Have a good cry. <laughs> <laughs> have a nice funny cry. You stinky baby. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs>